Welcome back to Showbiz Express. I'm Ross Crystal. It's summertime, and that means once again it's time for Royal Pains. The show now into its eighth season on USA is a fan favorite, and so is the man who plays Hank Lawson. And with that said, here's our conversation with Mark Feuerstein. So, Mark, we yes. are into the eighth season of Royal Pains. Eighth season. And I'm saying where did the time go because it doesn't seem like that. And how's the show evolved? How's it changed from your perspective? Um, you know, every season the characters are dealing with new challenges, but I feel like with every season our writers wrote more to our characters, wrote more to our strengths. Um, every season they managed to weave darkness and light, comedy, drama, medical intrigue, international intrigue with the character of Boris, romantic scenes for me, for my brother Evan, uh, played by Paula Costanzo, for Jeremiah, played by Ben Shankman, um, for Resh Machete, uh, who plays Divya, and Brooke Dorsey, who plays my brother's wife, Paige. Um, so many different colors to the show, which have been encouraged and supported by the USA Network, which, you know, because it's on cable, you get to not do either wacky comedy or hardcore procedural drama. You get to do both. And let's not forget about Henry Winkler, who does the whole gamut and is, what's he, what, what are they doing with him? Each year it gets stranger and stranger. With him. Yeah, so season eight is no different. He comes in with a huge bomb that he drops on my brother and me. Uh, I can't tell you what it is, but it's a big decision in his personal life. And my brother has one reaction and I have quite a different reaction. And we figure it out as we always do as a family, navigating and with some secrets being kept and some confrontations being had. But uh, in the end, we will, we will come together as a family. From your own perspective, what feedback do you get from viewers? Because this is like the perfect summer show. But aside from that, any time of the year, what feedback do you get from viewers of what they love about the characters, of what they don't love about the characters? What do you get? You know, we've gotten to travel on the show. We've gone to Budapest, to the south of France, Hong Kong, uh, Puerto Rico, Hong, uh, where else? Um, and Italy. And when we were in Italy shooting, I was in the streets of Florence, and one day a woman comes up and goes, Hey, Dr. Hank, Dr. Hank, uh, you are my therapy. You are my therapy. Thank you so much. If I watch your show, I forget about my problem, and thank you so much, Dr. Hank. See what I mean? And, and that's, so that, makes that, you was, feel real good. that was the best uh, tribute to the show I could have asked for because, you know, we all, I love TV. I love stepping out of my own TV life and watching and stepping into other worlds, like the great escape of our business, of storytelling. And, 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 and that was a confirmation that we had done that for somebody else. Just a couple more questions. One, sometimes I'll ask this question, especially in the medical end. Do you, do you visit the docs? Do you do research on the hospitals? But in your case, I don't know what, how you would do that to make it more real. When, when it first started, did you do that? When, when it first started, I did do some research. I followed around some doctors. I went with a brain surgeon, watched him operate on in the very center of who that person is. Um, and we had these medical experts on the show, consultants for the show. So we were never for a lack of the real thing. And uh, we were working with emergency physicians who were out in the field, and some of them were coming up with the scenarios that we were performing on the show, so they were the perfect per people to be on set advising us. And those wonderful people in the Hamptons, what do they have to say about all They love the publicity, don't they? Oh my God, when we would shoot at houses in the Hamptons, these families, mostly Italian, some Jewish, uh, but of all kinds, would be so thrilled that we were shooting there and they would, you know, we spent half the day shooting the show and the other half the day taking pictures with them and all the cousins that were visiting. And finally, aside from Henry Winkler's uh, uh, change, if you will, anything else you can that they won't bring the rope out and pull you back, tell us for this season? Um, we have a musical episode. It is a, a tribute to all the great old-time musicals in history uh, from the great 
movies like Singing in the Rain to Busby Berkeley comedies. Um, Michael Rausch, our creator, loves musicals, and he had this vision to make a musical episode, and it came out better and bigger and more fabulous than we could have ever imagined. And so I'm singing. I, I never sang in my career, but now I am. I'm have, singing and dancing. It's great to see you again. As always, continued success, Thank Royal Pins, USA Networks. We'll see you all summer. Thank you so much. Thank you.